We're back today with a new one from Linus Torvalds, the creator and maintainer of Linux, who is frustrated with how developers have been using the link tag in Git commit messages. We're going to be reading through how Linus has addressed this, but to catch you up, he recently rejected a pull request because its commits contained what he thinks are garbage links, saying that they waste his time instead of helping him understand why a patch matters. The link tag is supposed to provide extra context like pointing to a few mailing lists, discussions, bug reports, but people have really been ignoring what they're for and that is what Linus is furious about. Let's get into some of the reading. There's gonna be a lot, so buckle down. This is from Linus Torvalds. The patch that started it all here, just a single fix for an issue with a resource node rewrite that happened a few releases ago, please pull. Linus replies, I've pulled this, but the commentary is strange and the patch makes no sense to me, so I unpulled it again. Yes, it changes things from KV Malik array to KVC Alec, fine. And yes, KV Calic clearly clears the resulting allocation, also fine, but even in the old version, it uses GFP zero. And then he just talks about how the patch fixes pretty much nothing at all. But where the real issue begins is, and damn it, this commit has been promising link arguments that I hoped would explain why this pointless commit exists. But as always, that link only wasted my time by pointing to the same damn information that was already there. I was hoping that it would point to some ops report or something that would explain why my initial reaction was wrong. Stop this garbage already. Stop adding pointless link arguments that waste people's time. As we can already tell, Linus is growing frustrated with developers adding link tag commit messages and just pointing them right back to the same patch that he already looked through. For Linus, the links tag should have new information Anyways, add the link if that has additional information. Damn it, I really hate those pointless links. I love seeing useful links, but 99% of the links I actually see just point to stupid, useless garbage, and it only wastes my time, again. So I have not pulled this. I'm annoyed by having to even look at this, and if you actually expect me to pull this, I want a real explanation and not a useless link. Yes, I'm grumpy, I feel like my main job, really my only job, is to try to make sense of the pull requests, and that's why I absolutely detest these things that are automatically added and only to make my job harder. I'm CCing Constantin again because this is a prime example of why this automation hurts, and he has been arguing in favor of that shit just last week. Can we please stop this automated idiocy? Signed off, Linus. Strong words to start things out from Linus Torvalds as he's clearly frustrated over wasted time and false promises instead of trying to explain why a patch exists or the point of additional discussion. 99% of the time, as mentioned, he just gets a misleading link, either linking back to the original patch itself or to something completely useless. This, of course, creates additional work for what he claims is his main job, reviewing and pulling patches. Every useless link wastes his time and focus and adds extra noise to the process of pulling in merge requests. I can understand why he is so frustrated, but he really takes a passion to dive into all of this, so we're gonna be continuing on reading. Do you just want to, do you just want this to become no op or will it get better if used only with patch dot message ID link domain namespace to clearly indicate that it's just the provenance link. Linus replies to Constantin, so I wish it at least had some way to discourage the normal mindless use. And in a perfect world that there were some more useful model for adding links automatically. For example, I feel like the cover letter of a multi-commit series, the link to the patch series submission is potentially more useful and likely much less annoying because it would go into the merge message, not the individual commits. Because if somebody is actively looking at a merge message, they are probably looking for some bigger picture background or there's some merge conflict. And at that point, I expect that initial submission might be more relevant. Of course, most people don't necessarily use the cover letter for a merge and only apply the patches as a series. So it's also less annoying for the simple reason that it probably wouldn't exist in the Git history at all. Anyway, I discourage mindless use might be as simple as a big warning message that the link may be just adding an annoying overhead. In contrast, a perfect model might be actually having some kind of automation of, unless there was a real discussion about it, but I feel such a model might be too complicated unless somebody wants to explore using AI because of their job description says, 
look for an actual useful AI cases. In today's tech world, I assume such job descriptions do exist. Sigh. Which is kind of funny as Lena seems to take a little jab here at people working with AI, trying to push themselves to find uses for the AI when they aren't even necessary, but claims that this may be a perfect necessary situation where you could use AI. Anyways, for example, since B4 ends up looking through the downstream thread of a patch anyway, in order to add an act or acknowledged by lines, etc., I do think that in theory, there could be some. There was lively discussion about this particular patch, so a link is actually worth it heuristic. In theory, and honestly, even if the discussion ends up being worthless, I do suspect I would be a lot less annoyed by a link that at least leads to some thread and not just the acknowledged by emails that already got gathered up rather than just leading to an email that was applied and nobody really had any input on. At least at that point, I feel like there's something real there. And yes, as always, I realize that people think the patch submissions will get more email replies at some hypothetical later date, but in practice that seldom happens because the downstream testing issues typically create new threads, not replies to the original emails. And if they do react to the original email, we already can look up the commit easily and the lookup goes the other way anyway, signed off Linus. And it's a very simple message that Linus is trying to get out here. And if one of you are a kernel maintainer or you're a dev that submits code, stop adding link tags in commits unless they are actually new and full of useful context. More links is equivalent to pointless noise, especially the ones that point back to the patch email that was already applied. That clearly does nothing for Linus and actively aggravates him. Extra context or the why behind the patch is a perfectly good reason to use a link. Overall, just don't clutter the commit history with useless links. If you include a link, make sure it's because it points to real additional information. Maybe we could help Linus get the word out there because he's growing clearly frustrated over all of this. And this is definitely not the end as we continue on with how passionate Linus is on this topic. But before we move on, if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe below and smash that like button on the way back up. YouTube can get finicky and you wouldn't want to miss another video like this. And he gets right back in it in another reply to Jens here. In my honest opinion, it's better to have a link and it potentially be useful than not to have it and then need to search around for it. Linus replies, no, really. The issue is potentially, but very likely not useful versus I hit this 10 plus times every single effing release. There's just no comparison. I have literally never found the original submission email to be useful. And I am tired of the potentially useful argument that has nothing to back it up with. It's literally magical thinking of in some alternate universe, pigs can fly and that link might be useful. Signed off Linus. Now Linus is getting unhinged and off the rails. This reply hits really hard, cuts straight through the better safe than sorry logic that's being used by some people. And it's a direct rejection of the idea here. And clearly a personal pain point as he emphasizes, this problem hits 10 plus times for every single release. Clearly this isn't hypothetical and he's not trying to debate theory. So he absolutely dismisses this notion as literally never found those links useful. We can definitely see that Linus is frustrated here as he's fed up with wasting his time. We're getting sarcastic and sharp language, which he is well known for. Good for Linus for standing the ground. Let's move on because this hasn't ended yet. Jen did reply, and so did Linus. What is the hurt here? Really, other than you being disappointed, there's nothing extra in the link. And then Linus replies, and just to clarify, the hurt is real acknowledging that he is very frustrated and hurt. It's not just the disappointment. It's the wasted effort of following a link and having to realize that there's nothing useful there. Those links literally double the effort for me when I try to be careful about patches. So the what's the hurt here question is wrong. The cost is real. The cost is something I've complained about before. I'm tired of having to complain about this. And I am really, really tired of wasting my time on links that people have added with absolutely zero effort and no thinking to back them up. Yes, it's literally free to you to add the cost. No, you don't see the cost and you think it is helpful. It's not. It's the opposite of helpful. 
presumably unhelpful. So I want to commit messages to be relevant and explain what is going on. And I want them to not waste my time, all in caps. And I also don't want to ignore links that are actually useful and give background information. Is that really too much to ask for? Signed off Linus, growing ever more frustrated. Linus is doubling and tripling down here. Let's pass this question on to you. Is all this really too much to ask for? And really that's to include link tags in commits that point to genuinely useful and additional context. Or do you think all links, regardless of if they're useful, should be included? Let me know in the comments section below, but we're gonna be continuing on. But before we do, if you're ready to level up your Linux experience today, check out my checklist, cheat sheet, mind map, and new flashcards all available at SavvyNick.com. Get them today as we continue down this wild ride of replies from Linus. They're really going back and forth here. Another reply to Jens on the, like I said, I think there's more fruitful ways to get the point across and this picked up and well known because I don't believe it is right now. Linus replies, so I've been actually complaining about the link tags for years. And then he puts four sources down below. In fact, in the fourth source, from 2022, it is about how people are then trying to distinguish the useful links to bug reports from the useless ones by giving them a different name called bug link, where I was telling people to instead fix this problem by just not adding the useless links in the first place. Anyway, I'm a bit frustrated exactly because this has been going on for years. It's not a new peeve. And I don't think we have a good central place for that kind of don't do this. Yes, there's the maintainer summit, but that's a pretty limited set of people. I guess I could mention it in my release notes, but I don't know who actually reads those either. So I just end up complaining when I see it. And this is where the frustration seems to really stem from. As it feels like Linus has brought this up multiple times and tried to set expectations, but it seems like no one is really listening to him and says, yeah, sure, I could maybe talk about it at the maintainer summit, but it only reaches a very small group of people and doesn't get past beyond that. And there's really no reliable way to get this message across. I mean, we're talking about it right now, but how many of us are really going to pass this information along to someone who can actually use it? And since he can't broadcast the rule effectively, although there needs to be rules as just don't do this is not a sufficient mean, or just getting rid of the links is not a good way either. He chooses to complain about it in public emails, which is him admitting that he's venting here. Anyways, since Linus is asking us, make sure to share this with someone else so you can get Linus's frustration out. Let's keep going. And yeah, I will take some of the blame for people doing the useless link because going even further back, people were arguing for random bug ID numbers, go to the Linux kernel mailing list, and you'll find discussions about having UUIDs in the commits. And I said, no, we're not doing that. And that a link tag to something valid is a good alternative. And I even mentioned a link to the submission. So that could have been seen as some kind of encouragement, but it was more of a no, we're not doing random meaningless UUIDs. I did go back and look in the Git archives. The oldest link we have in the kernel Git tree is from 2011. Guess what? That email has had over 14 years to get more information associated with it on the mailing list, but no. The link has zero new information that would be relevant outside the commit that references it. And here's the commit ID. It's for the x8632 FPU fix, FPU exception handling on non-SSC systems. Signed off, Linus. And here are the four links that are just some utterly useless examples from the past on how the links have frustrated Linus. Anyways, we can see how Linus has grown frustrated with this whole entire process of adding links, especially useless link tags and kernel commit messages. Too many commits are including these links that are just pointing back to the submission or the email without adding any additional context. Linus acknowledges that this just wastes his time and increases his workload as he has to review every release with these useless links that make him dig for context that isn't there. This is clearly causing frustration as he's forced to complain in public without having any way to clearly solve this as he can't seem to get to the people who are submitting the links or at least having them care about submitting the links. In a perfect world, 
The contributors really need to be more careful and intentional with commit metadata, including the links. He can't just remove the links at this point as it does serve a purpose. The bottom line here is really think before you add a link and ask yourself, does it really add value or does it just add more noise? Hopefully we can get contributors and use tooling to adapt to get cleaner Linux history and waste less of everyone's time, including Linus's. I wonder if we're going to be getting some sort of guidelines out of this, or if they're actually thinking about using AI in the Linux community to vet out links that are good and bad based on summarization of the links. I feel like that wouldn't be too hard to do. Maybe you could be the one to contribute the tool. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Did Linus take too harsh of a stance on this? Do you understand where he's coming from? Again, let me know down below. Also, while you're down there, make sure to subscribe below, smash that like button on the way back up, catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.